the Deca Gear. Deca Gear One. Oh, the Deca Gear One. Deca Gear. The Deca Gear. The Deca Gear One. The Deca Gear began to make some noises when Megadudu uploaded a video on October 2nd, 2020. This new headset that came out of nowhere came with a lot of claims, big claims that a lot of people didn't believe in. The Deca Gear was promising facial tracking, eye tracking, tongue tracking, and all of that under the price of $400. That sounded crazy for a lot of people. That sounded like pipe dream. And now we know, they were right. One of the best way to get free advertisement is if YouTubers cover your project. One year ago, we got people like Tyrell, got people like Thrill Seeker. They all covered this headset. And one thing they had in common is that a lot of them were skeptic about it. A lot of them were like, yo, this sounds good, but... Can this be real? Little by little by little, Megaduru and their VR headset, the Deca Gear, managed to gain more and more faith from the community. One of the biggest reasons why a large part of the community gave them the benefit of the doubt is because of the Deca Move. The Deca Move was the first device that got shipped and tested by YouTubers. The Deca Move was a big deal. It was a hip-based locomotion. In a way, it was kind of revolutionary because nowhere in the VR market can you do this. They were the only one who came up with this idea, the hip-based locomotion. They loved it so much that they became more and more hyped about the Deca Gear. Since they saw that the Deca Move was real and it worked, and it was a good project, they were like, okay, okay, I trust Megadudu now. I know that they can make stuff. I know that they can make good stuff. So I'm waiting for that. A lot of people fell into the trap, me included. I fell into the trap. I, I was getting hyped as fuck. I was like, let's go, let's do this. We are gonna get a headset better than the Quest 2 around the same price. Like, Everybody was getting excited. Everybody was like, yo, let's go. <sighs> Things didn't go well though. The delays. A lot, a lot, a lot of delays. We got one delay in 2021. And we were like, okay, that's fine. We are we like, okay, because of COVID, it's understandable. They couldn't do what they wanted to do. Okay, okay, I get it. A third delay came in. And at that point, we were like, um, this is getting ridiculous. People were getting worried because a lot of people pre-ordered the Deca Gear. I almost pre-ordered it, but I was like, nah, nah, I'm gonna wait YouTubers to actually get it. And then I'm gonna make my choice to buy it. And I'm glad I made that choice because months and months later, and it never came out. It never came out. Nobody received the piece. Some people said they got it, but... On YouTube, you have no reviews of it. People were losing interest, people were losing hope, but then things came crashing hard. NFTs. Yep. The team at Megaduru thought that it was a good idea to include NFTs in this whole campaign. When the info got out by one of their employees that left the company, Megaduru was done for. People don't like NFTs. Guys, we stop it with the NFTs. Nobody like it. People who use it like it, I'm pretty sure. But the vast majority of people don't care and don't want them. At that point, they done fucked up. They done fucked up. And since then, silence radio. If you go on their YouTube, nothing. Like, the Discord is in shambles. Like, it's it's bad. It's really bad. Plus, right before that, they announced that the Deca Gear is gonna be a standalone headset like the Quest 2, but also a PC headset. It's gonna be a hybrid. It was looking good. It was looking very good, but as soon as they got into the, the whole NFT shit, it was done. Since then, Everybody seems to have moved on. 
on the Deca Gear. We see no more videos uh, by YouTubers on it, and I think I'm gonna be one of the last few ones talking about it. It's really sad because I was really looking into getting this headset because I was like, I don't really want to get a Valve Index, and I don't, I was not feeling Facebook with the Oculus Quest 2. So, this VR headset, the Deca Gear, I was very hyped about it, and so my heart broke when I saw how hard it has fallen. Please tell me in the comment section, how was your journey with the Deca Gear? Were you hyped about it, or were you always skeptical about it? This was Shonen, à la prochaine, Ningen.